Recently, I got an inkling to paint big with watercolor. Now, normally I paint with these little tiny sketchbooks because watercolor can be challenging in larger formats. Other mediums don't really scare me. Bigger, like acrylic I've painted six feet wide, that doesn't bother me, but watercolor, it does. But I love all the different effects watercolor has, and there's something about being able to see it on a larger scale that I just really want to explore. And in order to do this, I needed to do a couple things. One, clear off my desk. Two, I wanted to tape it down to something else so I could actually move it around just in case I needed to. And since this was already a scary concept to me, I wanted to do myself a couple favors. The first is I'm going to do something more simple and adaptable. The second is I'm gonna get some help in choosing a color palette. And if there's one thing that I really wish that I can impart to you about learning art, it's sometimes you just gotta try something. I've experienced this firsthand and I see it in my comments all the time. I'm afraid to actually start. I've got all these supplies and they're just sitting around and they're waiting for the perfect project. And sometimes it is nice to create art that is pre-planned and well thought out, but most of the time, especially when you're just getting started, the best thing that you can do for yourself is just put paint to paper or pen to paper or whatever you're using. You don't have to wait until you have the perfect idea to do something. And as a matter of fact, often I get my best ideas for other things when I'm doing something like this, this painting didn't inspire another project per se, but it did teach me so much about how important a color scheme is and also how much I can push the boundaries of that color scheme in order for it to stay within the color scheme, but still have interest. If you're still waiting for the perfect thing to paint to get started, this is your sign to just paint anything. Really, literally anything. And if you want a little help with this, I've got tons of videos on my page of simple things to paint. And I even have a whole course that's just dedicated to fun and easy sketchbook exercises. And it goes into a lot more detail if you really want to kind of see the nitty gritty of it and almost paint along with me. Also, if you're like me and you're like that color scheme, I love the color scheme, but how do you get the colors? Because I didn't have tubes of any of these colors specifically, I had to mix them up. I do have a YouTube video where I show you how I mixed up all these custom colors using just a random assortment of tubes of watercolor.